Hey everybody, Stu here. I want to share with you in this video how to play Drunken Sailor as a chord solo. Everything you need to learn it will be right here on the screen. You can get printable tab at the link down below. Learning this as a chord solo is fun to play on its own and it's a great little instrumental break that you can put into any rousing sing-along that you're part of. Let's get right into it. This uh, solo is actually not too hard to play once we get comfortable with using our thumb and our index finger in some interesting ways. So let's come really close to my ukulele and I'll take you through the solo. Here's the first section. Okay, as you can see, it uses the thumb and the index finger. The first strum is followed by plucking the first string and then plucking it again with the index finger. So that takes a little getting used to. It is possible to play this with just the thumb. But if you want to get some speed on it, you're going to want to bring the index finger in. So let's try this together. Thumb, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, and then you pluck thumb, thumb, thumb. It's nice how the melody sits right under the chord. All together, one, two, let's play. What do we do with the drunken sailor? One more time without the vocal. Two, three, four. The next chord is a C chord, but notice I'm taking the ring finger, placing it on the second string third fret, and I'm allowing the first string to be muffled by the underside of the ring finger. That's going to be important because you don't want the first string to be ringing out. The top note is that melody right there. Now, once you're comfortable with this technique, you do the same thing. And then the melody notes open, open, and then that third fret second string once again. Here we go. Two, three, four. Nice workout for the thumb, eh? And next, we go back to the same passage for D minor. But we end it with three pick notes. 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret. And the last part begins on a C major chord with the ring finger at the 1st fret. Pluck the open string. Now back to that C5 shape. Open. And now pluck the 3rd string 2nd fret. Follow it with the D minor chord. Let's play this all the way through nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Have a great time getting this under your fingers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and remember, whenever you're learning something that's complex, something that's new for your fingers, go slow. The slower you go, the faster you'll get there. That's Django Reinhardt on a ship. Hope to see you in another video soon. Happy playing.